Man, I wish it was as sexy without my helmet on as I am with it on. You know, when you're like... It's a shame, really. This is just going to waste. Then again, this is probably a little bit more acceptable. So today, the girlfriend is away. Um, well, she's at uni. So I've been sat at home and I am bored off my rocker. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for a ride. See what we can see. Boy, it's a bit windy today. Blowing a gale. This person here. Ninja 300, it's a lovely bike, don't get me wrong, but I think the trouble they have is where they're parked. Like, they're parked completely sticking out. There is no way that if a car comes along around that corner, they're going to be able to stop in time to get out of its way. The disaster won't happen. I couldn't park my bike there. I'd at least park it flush with the curb. Because if it's not flush with the curb, then the car's just going to come around and knock it out. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Yeah, I'm really, really hungry. So I don't know whether I'm going to get some food or not. I mean, I'm going smart clothes shopping with a friend at two, so can I hold off my appetite until then? I mean, it's, it's 10.41 at the moment. That's three hours and 20 minutes. I don't think I can contain myself. I don't think I can stop myself from getting some munch. But then the question is, what do I eat? We've got McDonald's over there. We've got KFC just down there. We've got Subway back there. The choices are just too much. Let's see what's down here. Oh, little kebab stand smelled nice. Alfred's, KFC. Oh, Subway, maybe? I think I might have a Subway. I don't know. Choices, choices. Just down here, you got Robinson's Foundry on the left. You probably see the Suzuki logo. Or two. Yeah, that's Robinson's Foundry. Victory and Indian and Harley and all of those All of those, you know. I thought that was an actual dog in that window then. That freaked me out. Who you staring at? What are you staring at, boy? Who are you staring at? Who's a good doggy? Who's a good little doggy? Is it you? Yes it is. You're a good little doggy. You're gonna go find your owner's heads. They don't seem to have any. And we're off. Bye bye. Be a good boy now. I think that sign's pissed. Your drunk sign, go home. Oh, look at this. They say sports bikes are bad for your wrists and your back and God knows what else. But on those things, your legs are up here, like that, like some hooker, and you're bent over like that. It's almost as if you're touching your toes. I don't know if I could do that. That seems more uncomfortable than being like this. I'm sure there's some attraction to it, but then there's also some attraction to having a knob up your bum apparently, but I can't see it. I'm not homophobic, but it's not my personal preference. <laughs> oh, we're following a cyclist. Da dum. Da dum. Dum 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 dum. -da! My keys jingle around so much. I've got so much crap on them. I only cleaned them off the other day. I took like six key rings off and they're still jiggy jiggy jiggy. Nice indication, mate. The Archbishop's School. I wonder if the Archbishop actually went there. Must be an all boys school, obviously. Look at all these Uni of Kent scumbags walking along. Thinking they own the place, well they do own the place, but thinking that they're all that. So I was bored this morning and I thought to myself, when in doubt, ride about. Mate, what the fuck are you doing? Are you broken? Oh, I'm just going to walk out in front of this big motorbike coming along. With my shitty hat on. Ooh. And then down here, this road here, is really nice. It's a brand new road, so it's all new tarmac. This bit's got a bit of water on it, but then you can... It's just a really good road. Brand new, nice tarmac. I 
really do like it. But then you get here and it's like, it's a bit crap. An Ocado van to park in the middle of the road, which isn't, isn't great. So yeah, this is Turing. This is like my number one pizza delivery spot and I'm gonna look like a twat riding around in a circle for a bit, but whatever. I deliver pizzas here quite regularly. And uh, yeah, one of my friends lives in a building just down there, which is kind of cool, I suppose. Bumple stilt skin. This is the King's College. No, it's not. No, it's the King Edward School. It looks like bloody Hogwarts, doesn't it? Don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. It is quite a classy looking establishment. I don't know if you can see it over there. I'm stood up on my bike looking like a right knob rock. Look at that. Imagine if Ron Weasley had a Jixer. Ron, you don't need to be on the Quidditch team. Have a Fireblade. Instead of that crappy little firebolt thing Harry's got, Fireblade, you know, blow him right out of the air. Sheep! Oh, there's a black sheep and a brown sheep. Bah. And a white sheep. This traffic is giving me the AIDS. It's flaring my syphilis up. I love sitting at 23 in a 30. So the other day I, um, I put an offer down on eBay for some cheap bar end mirrors. So I'm going to get some blanking plates. The, the offer was rejected, I might add. So I'm probably going like, to wait until payday and then get, get a set of like decent looking ones. Yeah, no, these, these mirrors, they're just a bit chunky. And I have to like contort my arms in certain ways so that I can actually see in them. And to be honest, I can't be bothered with that. So what I'm thinking of doing is having a mirror there, sort of like just above my hand, that I can actually see out of. It'll take away the bulk of the main bike. Hopefully, it'll look like a race bike. It'll look sexy AF. I'm part of a Facebook group called GSXR Owners Club, because uh, my I had, I am a GSXR owner. And uh, yeah, they, they tend to give some really good advice. And the Honda Fireblade Owners Club, I don't own a Fireblade, but I'm part of it. If you join either of those pages and you want a little bit of uh, a little bit of help or advice. There's another one called Real Bikers Nod, because British bikers, when we're riding along, we nod at each other. You'll probably have seen on like my channel or Baron's channel or Rampant Riders channel or whatever it be. You'll have seen us nod at some stage. And that's uh, that's a thing over here. In America, I know you do that little fingering thing. You finger each other as you ride past. You're right, mate. Have a finger. But, hey, dude. Let me finger you! No, over here it's a gentlemanly nod. The classiest of all acknowledgements. If we could, we'd shake hands as we ride along, but I'm not sure how that would work. It might hurt. Yeah, let's get a subway. So I was reading up on these gloves, and apparently the leather parts that are used on them are the, uh, they're the finest goat's leather. Now, I'm not trying to slag off goats because, you know, baby goats, they're cute. Cuter than human babies, anyway. I never would have imagined the goats to be, you know, the toughest animals. I know they climb mountains and they fight dragons and stuff, but they don't really strike me as having tough skin. I'd much rather have, I don't know, bear leather on my hands, because bears are, they're strong animals. They, they punch people and stuff. Kangaroo leather is supposedly quite soft, and they use that in leathers because they're the slidiest or something like that. So maybe goat skin leather, maybe that's the way. But then again, I suppose you can't get as much leather off of a goat as you can off a kangaroo. So you'd have to have like four goats to one leather suit. In which case, that's just, you know, it's a bit overkill, isn't it? You know, maybe one or two goats. If I, if I was to pay in goats for a leather suit, I'd probably pay two goats. Three if it was a really good quality. If those goats were like tanned in the finest tanning salon, then maybe. <laughs> He's on his phone, drug dealer. White BMW with the plates in the window instead of on the front of the car, you know. 
wearing his hood up whilst driving. Typical. Gotta be careful what I say about those drug dealers. Man might get vexed, you know. Ginger kid on a bicycle was eyeing me up. Ginger kid on a bicycle reminded me of Angry Kid. And there she is. Alright. Hi there, can I get a foot long meatball marinara please? Uh, hearty Italian please. Well, now that I've got some munch in me, I think it's time to go home. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs>